Good evening, YouTube. This is Diefly Fish. Just doing another experiment with regard to the anode to cathode ratio and how it affects the output of cells. I have a piece of magnesium in which I have the Epsom salt galena iron pyrite zinc oxide mixture. And I've utilized as a cathode a 0.7 millimeter pencil lead. So you can see the surface area of the magnesium versus the surface area of the pencil lead. I have been using the same consistent mix without any change for the last number of experiments, so trying to keep everything equal. I'm not doing new mixes with it, so this is just yet another continuation. But I want to show you what I'm getting with the voltage here. So I have this set at the 20 volt range and um, energize the cell in the same unusual customary fashion that I have in the past. And I'll show you the voltage right now. It's the first time I've hit 3 volts, and that's one cell. So that's what we're showing for voltage, and now I will turn it over to the milliamp hour. And again, this is just one cell. So let that equalize, and then we'll do a current reading. And we'll see what it's showing. And again, I'm still experimenting with this, but I think there may be a benefit to having a larger anodic uh, surface area and mass versus the cathode. And this is somewhat of an extreme example, but again, it may show the point. So again, we have it on the milliamp hour, 200 milliamp hour range, and we'll register what the milliamp hour um, current reading is. It's about 13.1 milliamps, and again, it's at 3 volts, which is sort of cool, because I have not hit that with one cell before. So, for what it's worth, um, I hope this information is useful. I hope other people can utilize it. 2.99 still, that's pretty decent. And... Perhaps we can make some headway with this. So for what it's worth, um, just, just my latest finding. Thought you might find it interesting. Have a great night.